don't really have a good angle. Um, I'm just going to try to do the best I can with what I got. I don't have somebody holding the camera for me, so it's just going to be me and trying to do what I can do. Of course, I'm going to try to attack these buttons right here. <coughs> um... <coughs> Like I said, we're going to do these buttons right here. And, um, you know, I don't know how to take them off. So so you guys are going to be doing it along with me. Y'all going to be figuring it out with me. And, yeah, from this one or from what I can see on the buttons already is that it's really not much holding it in, right? It's not much holding it in. It's just that. Now... <clears throat> This one I've seen that we might just be able to, might just be able to pop that out. All right, like that. Now, of course, to get better leverage, you wanna push this side up, go in there. Now, this is another tool that I wanna use. So let me get another tool and I'll be right with you. It's gonna be probably the same tool that I used to take this off in another video, but I'll show y'all. All right, also, this is the tool again. That I used in the in the other video, man. Doing this with one hand is really, really hard. All right, I'm trying to hold the camera and do this with one hand, so really difficult. So I'm gonna just put the camera down real quick, try to get this done, pry that in there, and then I'll show you guys the process. All right, so I'm gonna see maybe the camera don't tip over while I do all this all this movement, and hopefully I have a good angle there, man. I don't know if y'all can see it. But let's see. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. All right, so we took that one off. And um, from what I could tell, it's really nothing different. It looks the same. Kind of sounded like I broke it, but I don't think I did. And then these are pretty much the same just go in there pull it up I think yo if I break something that's on me and you guys could just follow my lead all right that looks like it came out pretty good and oh that one came up easy there it is those came up pretty easily man a lot easier than I expected honestly so all right and just pop that in there and that's it that's perfect <clears throat> let me get the other ones well, that looks good for real for real so man these are all things I'm gonna be offering and I'm sampling out but I'm gonna be offering these on the website you know <clears throat> just want to make sure that everything is what it's supposed to be you know everything matches up how it's supposed to um oh, that's not that one that's this one yeah you know yeah everything got the little sticks where it's supposed to have it you know so as you see this is the uh traction off traction off if you flip them both to the same exact side they got all the little tabs where they're supposed to be <clears throat> so that's something i like to see you know that they're paying attention to detail everything is where it's supposed to be so it can fit exactly how it's supposed to fit and then there is no fitment issues here there is no fitment issues this looks fire 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 of course the last one bam bro look how those things look man Look at how those things look. Those things look crispy. Fire. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? They look good. So I'll show y'all the next thing. Hold up. All right, y'all. We're back really quick. So I've seen. I've showed y'all this before. Man, take off this little thing right here. All right, just put it on the side of the glass. I did it over here in the corner. Put it on the side of that glass in the back. Pop it out. 
it's a glue so make sure you put that somewhere safe so it doesn't you know get any dirt or anything debris or whatever it is um so i'm doing right now of course you need to get this t10 t9 t9 um <clears throat> to remove this screw right here all right i'm gonna remove that screw and i'll be right back with y'all when i remove all this right here man so you remove remove the screw from there the T9 you take off the whole the whole face all right this is what you're left with now here what I'm going to take out all right is the actual plastic that's right there I'm going to take that out which it's just kind of prying it out or coming from the back of it and uh pushing it it's not really held in there see uh I'm going to do this with one hand Again, it's not that easy. Let's see, it just came out. Alright. Got that right there. Boom. Now, get the new one. Hold up. Alright, so here's the new one. <clears throat> this is the one that I just took off right now. Um, so we're going to put it into the new one. Alright, just face forward. So it has two little notches right there and there. All right, those go towards the inside. As you can see, the notches are also right there and there. All right, so we put that in. All right, I'm just trying to do this again with one hand. Try to look at the camera and look at y'all and not at y'all, but over here, make sure everything fits. And. Uh, Give me one second, bro. I need two hands. All right, man. So you have to push all the way in there on all sides. You're going to hear some, like, cracking and creaking. Some, But it's all good. You know what I'm saying? That's just basically it's making its way in there. It all fits well. No breaking, no scratching, no cracking. Uh, we need to make sure those little sticks, you know what I'm saying, those little tabs are in there well. You know, and uh, that is it. That's all you really got to put in there. And I'm just going to put it back for y'all. And y'all will see the finished product. All right, y'all. So I also noticed this thing has these little plastic glass uh, light reflectors, if you will, or light rods. So what I was doing was I got the the, the bit and pushed against all of them to get them through. So that's why you see them all lifted up like that right now. All right. And I'm just going to remove these and place them in here. And then then I'll put it back all right so I pushed them all in again when I put them in kind of these two slid in a little bit this one slid a little bit in but not as much as these two and the top one also slid a little bit in so just to make sure they're like nice and uh and in there I pushed them in with the bit here let me uh show y'all how I kind of did it just going here like that and push in a little bit not too hard you don't want to pop it to the side but you know just make sure it's kind of like just set in there so you know they're not easy to come out all right those are going to be connecting to i believe these lights right here all right so you want to make sure that there's a light rod there and i'm gonna put all this back and show y'all the next step all right man so when you put it in that's how everything will look you know you might have a little bit of a but as you're trying to put it on at first, make sure you just squeeze everything in nice and tight. I already put the screw in. This is working perfect. That on the side is working perfect. Now, of course, you're missing this right here. Um, <clears throat> I could just put this one on, but I decided to now put on the other one I bought because I'm pretty much done with this whole setup here. Um, and I got this man um, same just with the M on there give it a little bit extra flavor and of course with the back same thing I'm just gonna put that on now of course I'm gonna keep the original so I'm gonna get the back of this put it on the original backing to keep the back uh, nice and sticky still and be able to use it in case this flops on me for any reason um, yeah so I'll show you how to finish product Man, that is the finished product and that is what it looks like now 
all right all the lights still match up i still got good visibility with everything the light rods still doing their job everything's in its place everything's lined up you still got your lights i mean you probably can't see the orange lights right now because it's still pretty bright outside um but yeah see it works all right and that changes it no problem no sticky issues and of course all right it all turns on it works perfect so that's the video man it's not a long video short video show you guys pretty much the new little mods little customizations not crazy not mods just little custom stuff you know to make it look a little better and that's it that's pretty much it for the interior of this man i'm not really going to do too much to it of course i still got the five series i'm working on so you know it's just little small things to make it a little bit different than other people's you know and of course i got the matte red with the gloss red you know give it that little contrast some people may think it looks weird i kind of like it man you got that matte with that with that gloss and this is different if you would have too much gloss it would have looked a little bit on the cheap side i think like the little hints of the gloss makes it look better you would have had all that gloss i don't know i don't know but that fits perfect bro that fits perfect the button obviously stops i mean works there you go all right now y'all catch on the next one of course like i said i got more things coming up so y'all stay tuned peace that is it you know what i'm saying that's what she looks like yes sir man she's clean i like it i think it looks dope it might not be for everybody it's it's for me of course i don't do it for anybody it's for me so i did it i like it i think it looks dope I like the contrast of like that the matte red with the gloss red. I think it gives it a nice look. Um, having that random silver just don't really do it. I'm gonna hold on to this man. I'm gonna keep it just in case like that red starts chipping up or whatever it is. I'm gonna keep the original. Um, and I could also then just paint it. You know, I was like painting whatever color I really want. Uh, you could really do that to begin with. You know, what I'm saying just kind of like strip everything, like the glass and all that stuff. Uh, just, you can see it's really easy to do and then just paint it and then just put it back on so you could also do that yourself and always just change the color of it um and yeah man so y'all stay tuned for the next one got more five series stuff coming up n55 stuff uh, b48 stuff so the four series stuff and uh y'all stay tuned for everything bro remember to like share subscribe of course we're trying to grow the channel um i'm not just trying to do this for for every two three views that pops up every now and then you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get some traction so y'all share holla at your people let them know to watch your boy we got some big things coming road to the fastest m55 i and um n55 f10 in the world I, I don't know uh anyways so yeah y'all stay tuned y'all share like subscribe yerd let's go